Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Follow Me. I'm lost. Today's podcast, it's all about purpose and passion. Now, two beautiful words, two great things, but very, very misused words. So many people are Googling, how do I find a job with purpose? How do I find my passion in life? And if it's career-oriented, it's a bit dangerous to do it. Now, people Google that might be that they are not feeling satisfied with their own career. Maybe your colleagues or your boss, or maybe you're not getting along with them. Maybe they're too different, or maybe they're not very friendly, or maybe something happened. Or it might be that the job you're doing is feels like draining that is not taking you anywhere. Maybe you have some values in life and your job is not taking you closer to the values you have about humanity or war or whatever it is. So it's very important to distinguish between what you want to do in life as a career and what you want to do in your free time. Now, I have studied the career Uh, change in very, very depth. I have many clients to help to get clarity on their career. And what I can tell you, as many others do, do not leave your job until you have another one under your bum. Why? Because life is expensive. You have your bills to pay, your mortgage, your travels. And if you're a parent, you have also kids to take care of or if you're taking care of somebody else. Life is expensive. So make sure you don't do something so unexpected, like to leave your job and drop one day to another, even if you have savings. Because what happens is that maybe you think you want to become an entrepreneur. Maybe you think you want to work in the charity industry, blah, blah, blah. But maybe once you're there, trying to do it every day, you realize that maybe um, being an entrepreneur is not the kind of job you want to do. And maybe working for a charity, while it's a beautiful thing to do, but maybe you put in too many hours uh, or the salary is not that great. So it's, every, it's nothing wrong the per se to become an entrepreneur or work for a charity or whatever you want to do. The point is that you need to first taste the waters. And there is no point to look for your purpose by using your mind. You need to try things out because maybe you don't enjoy doing that thing. Podcasting, it's a fun thing to do. And you might think, yeah, talking is easy. If you think it's easy and it's fun, then you should try to do it because maybe you find your next career. But there is a lot of research to do an interesting podcast that might be interesting to somebody, you need to do a lot of research and uh, gather information, um, bring example and stuff. So if you're ready to do that, then try it out. And it's super easy to start a podcast. There are so many softwares that you can do it for free. Like I think my favorite one to start for free when friends ask me is Anchor. Or another one is Spreaker. But Anchor has much more... Uh, time that you can use to do episodes and stuff. But anyway, let's go back to your purpose and passion and why you shouldn't waste too much time on finding those two by using your mind. Why? Because our intellect, it's great for many things, but for other ones, it's very, very limited. The passion that you're looking for, first of all, is not in your mind, but It's in your heart. I don't want to seem like a big juju, but that is where it stands. It stays there in your heart. When I ask my clients or friends that are looking for a next career move and stuff, what did they enjoy to do as children? That gives you a lot of clue on what you like to do. Did you like to play Lego? Did you like to take care of the garden and, uh, I don't know, help 
your parent to plant new pots of flowers? Did you enjoy taking care of the dolls, pretending to be a nurse? Or um, going for a walk, playing football? What was the thing you liked? But now that you have that thing figured out, that you're thinking, oh yes, I did enjoy doing that. I want you to go one step further. What exactly was that you liked about doing that thing? Because maybe you loved saying jokes to people because you like bringing people's smiles. Or maybe you enjoyed to, to help your parent to take care of the plants because you loved staying in the open air and uh, you love to stay in contact with nature. That can give you a big clue on what you really enjoy doing. Once you have done this self-awareness work, then I suggest you to start to do it in your free time. Don't make it as a career just yet. Because maybe that hobby that you love to do is something that has to stay a hobby. How many people you know that love to play an instrument, maybe a guitar or singing, and they say, I only wish I could be a singer or um, playing a rock band. The thing is, sometimes, for many of us, it's more fun to play an instrument just for fun. When you do it as a job, you need to play pretty much every day. And unless you make it as a career on the internet that you manage to go through that internet maze of artists, you need to show up in pubs, restaurants, concerts, wherever they, you get a gig. Show up in front of an audience, expose yourself, expose your art, get feedback on the spot. And let me tell you, in concerts, people are not very... Um, worried about your feelings. If your song sucks, they're going to tell you straight away. So if that's what you want to do and you're ready to do it, to go for it and to make music your profession or an art, then go for it. But this is why before, make sure that that's what you want to do. Uh, many of these passions are very, very competitive things. And some people might lose the passion to play that instrument or to say jokes when it becomes a job. So this is why it's very important. First, make time in your free time to make it your hobby and make sure you make a hobby that you, something you enjoy. Otherwise, what's the point to do a hobby just because you think it's cool or because somebody else told you to do it? You need to enjoy to do a hobby, whatever it is. It can be also sticking uh, buttons on dolls to make their eyes as long as you enjoy doing it. Crochet, that's cool. Um, whatever it is. Taking uh, other people's pets, dogs for a walk, that's fine too, as long as it's something you enjoy. And try to figure out what exactly that you enjoy to do about it. But don't stress yourself. Don't put pressure on yourself to make it a career. Now, to go back to your career, if you are unhappy... There are a few things that you can do. Now, today I'm running out of time, but I will be back with unhappiness in the job and what you can do about your career. But for now, today I would like you to focus on find something as a hobby that satisfies you, that brings you peace or joy or satisfaction, whatever feeling you're looking for. And do more of that as a hobby without, for now, making anything, no plans to make it as a job. Because remember, once it becomes a job, you might not enjoy it anymore. So for now, it's everything. Talk to you soon. And if you like this episode, feel free to share it with friends and family. Thank you for now. Bye.